On that doctoral program at Greeley, Dr. Troxell was the head of the School Administration Division. Good man, an older man. I liked him. And early on I took his course in buildings and grounds. Big fat textbook full, full, full of information that you needed to know particularly if you're going to supervise any kind of construction, any kind of renovation, and so on, and so that you would know safety things and so on, that uh, you'd be responsible for as a superintendent of schools. Lots of detail. Well, he gave his first test, and I'd taken lots of notes, and I'd studied hard. Darn well, I want to impress your major prof. Got the test back. I didn't fail or anything, but I usually am one of the top scorers in any class. I was down towards the middle. Redoubled my efforts. A week or two later, the next test. Results come out. No improvement. So I'm worried. I make an appointment formally. Go in to see Dr. Troxell. And he doesn't seem too surprised to see me, but he says, why are you here? What do you want? I said, well, you know, I'm a little concerned about my progress in your class. Well, he said, what's wrong with your progress in the class? He said, I haven't seen any difficulty. Well, I said, I'm used to being able to score very high in any class of any kind, and I'm down in the middle of your class. Well, he said, do you study my test? Of course I don't study your test. And he understood immediately that I saw that as a form of cheating. No, 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 he said, now listen, these frat houses, he said, I learned long ago that you get a bunch of fellows together and uh, some of them are going to take that test early in the morning, some in the middle of the day, some in the afternoon, and those guys will have a key made on that test by noon. So he said, to make it fair, he said, I've been putting every test that I give in the library and you're perfectly welcome to go study them. Well, you better believe I went and studied them. And sure enough, the rest of the year, my test scores are right near the top. Makes a little difference. Who's looking at what and what the rules of the game are. Dr. Troxell, fine man. Another story about a class. A man, I think his name was Mosbo or Mosby. A little younger than Dr. Troxell. Good, another good man. Don't remember the name of the class. But it was when we were doing the construction, building a building out at Elkhart, and I felt I needed to get back a couple of times during the summer to see that things weren't being cheated on and so on, because we didn't really have a construction form in a small district. So uh, one of the first times that I was going to go back, uh, he's given a test, 11 o'clock class, last class of the day, and we're going to, Don is waiting for me with the kids, and they're going to pull out as soon as I'm through with the test. Well, I'm a barreling down through there, and I hit an item that, I don't know what he wants. Put an asterisk on it. I ended up with a half a dozen questions with asterisks. At the bottom of the page, the asterisk said, please see the back. On the back, I said, if this question means this, this is the answer. If this question means this, this is the answer, because I thought he had amb ambiguous questions. Well, I came, but I didn't come back on Monday, because that, you know, I studied the situation over the weekend and saw the contractor on Monday. So Wednesday I go to class, and I could tell everybody else has gotten their papers, and I figure at the end of the class he's going to give me my paper, and he does that, and I'm standing around, and he says, come to my office. We go over, he has me sit down, and he says, you don't like my test, do you? Well, I don't know. You make the test, I just take them. Well, he said, I noticed he said, you rewrote my test. He said, I make the test, you make the answers. And I can't remember. He either marked them all wrong or most of them wrong. And it still didn't give me a real bad grade. Well, two, three weeks later, when we going to make that other trip? Boy, oh boy. I went in there that time, and I read those questions. I read rather rapidly. And I marked my answers, and I took my paper up, and I was the first one to turn in a paper, went out the door, and was gone. Came back the next week. He had my paper out to me at the end of the period. He did very, very well on it. My buddy said I would ordinarily study with or wait. And he said, hey, 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 how did you get a copy of his test, and why didn't you share it with us?
I didn't have a copy of his test. They said, the heck you didn't. You had that test answered and we're out of here 10 minutes before anybody else was done. You had to have the test. Never had the test. Probably got lucky. And from then on, they really kind of kept an eye on me. And you know what? I kept on making good scores. They did too, because we did study together.